night, racing fans. It is moving day. It's July 2nd. Uh, I did get a big oval put together. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the Dodge Viper fixed. Um, what I was going to do is just swap out the the uh, rear axle, you know, with the pinion gear, the whole back, the uh, drivetrain, basically, out of one of the two Corvettes I had, the white Corvette or the flamed one, to get that up and running. But I didn't do it. Um, the, I bought a diner. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the prior video, uh, but yeah, I bought a diner. And uh, it's been kicking my ass. I'm just so tired when I come home. I haven't had time to come and mess with the cars. But this is this is how it looks today. That's the last time the two nine-foot tables will be together. Um, the new house that we're moving to today. And I'll, I'll do a quick video there to show you the setup there, the layout there. Um, it's going to have one nine-foot table and one four-foot table next to each other along you know assuming you're coming in the room from the doorway and again i'll shoot a video of it but it's going to be over there on that wall it's 13 foot exactly i mean down to like this maybe one inch left if that uh so it's going to be those two tables one long and one short will fit on that wall and then there's no window on on the wall that wall against the thing so there'll be a, a nine foot the other nine foot table will be on that wall and then on this wall to your right when you walk in the door will be the other uh four foot table so it'll be a kind of a u-shape with a short run very long run well, 13 foot and then another pretty long run nine foot so the track will go around and loop back you know in a giant u-shape kind of like i had it in the beginning over here um and it when i did put the track together i did stretch out the oval i took a bunch of straights which i hadn't cleaned the track yet so as you can imagine there were dead spots you know everything i've been dealing with um since i set the track up and what happened was with the fast cars like the ford gte and the, the nighthawk and um even the the new digital car the maserati that's fast also so all my fast cars by having the 16 foot straight call it a foot on each side for the curve by having a 16 foot straight all the fast cars were going so fast i couldn't let up and again that this is me as a driver i'll get better the more i play it an experienced driver probably could have throttled down enough to get around the curve but every car i had was wiping out the fast cars were wiping out on that corner um because that run when you're when you've got a 16 foot run in scale they get so fast into that curve like you know and if you let up too much again i didn't have time to clean the track um, and get all the tarnish off and stuff it wasn't brand new shiny track the whole way down uh, and in fact um, i discovered a little piece of rust on my brand new arc pro power base so yeah it's it's humid here it's hot it's muggy um so yeah and most of this room's not air conned and you know i'm at work all day at the diner i don't um, leave the air con on anyway but this only has a fan in this room and it's off when we're not home so most of the time the truck's just sitting here in the hot muggy humid thailand weather um so anyway that there yeah there, if i let up off the throttle going into that turn the cars would just die on a straightaway or part of the curve and if i went in half throttle three-quarter throttle two-third throttle full throttle god forbid um they just they just detract they all every car every fast car went off the track every slow car stopped on one of the pieces of older track so it wasn't the, the whoopies I, I did get the blue camaro if you remember the last two cars i bought before the digital ones the last two analog cars were from australia and i did a quick video with my buddy dave uh, who bought them in australia and, and sent them up to me he pretended to be Thai post and a corny video i know uh, but that blue camaro that i bought from ebay in australia actually made it around the track it was fast enough to carry the momentum in and get around the curve but slow enough that it didn't detract so i had one car on analog mode go around the whole track and again that's my favorite part of the track the, the blast of speed but what i found out is when you make the oval wider 
the faster cars will come right off the track. So I had my, my little bit of fun and then I immediately started packing up uh, into boxes. All the track and all the cars are in these uh, plastic buckets. I put some of the track in the original sets, taped them up. My work table's going with me. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm making a three-sided uh, U-shape so I can either put the work table down at the end with a nine foot table and I think I'll, I'll hover them uh, or over there. There's nothing on that wall over there. So probably the table and chair will go over there. My shelves, I have a couple of shelves I bought to stack this stuff. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll shoot another uh, short video to showing you when these tables uh, get set back up on the other end. And that, that's it. There's no, no more nine foot, nine foot configuration, but I'll live. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the new place has room for these four tables. I'm, I'll take the victory because I knew I was going to a smaller house, so I didn't know if there would be a room that would suit itself to a new layout, and there is. So uh, The next, uh, next thing you see will be the new house with the new room um, with the table set up in the proper layout. I do, I, I think, uh, yeah, I had to cut a notch. You see how they have in the corner there, how it's like a 12 centimeter by 12 centimeter bump out. The new house has the same thing. That must be a Thailand architecture thing where you've got that bump out. So for the, as I mentioned, it's exactly 13 foot wall to wall. So I'm gonna have to have somebody cut out a notch in the table um, where it touches the back wall on both sides on one four foot table and one nine foot table. And then I can show you the, the setup when it's pushed back against the wall today. I'll just show you where the tables are going, but they're, they're not gonna sit back against the wall until the notches have been cut. That's it, hang down raceway out, and I am, I am moving to hang down. I'm going from hang down to hang down, <laughs> so it's still gonna be hang down raceway. <laughs> All right, in the new house. Yes, it's a beautiful house. This is one Thai owner who didn't spare any expense. <laughs> the bathroom's very nice. It's a brand new house. Nobody's ever lived in here. And he spent some money on the fixtures and stuff, which is unusual. Um, so anyway, this is the empty room. It's the third bedroom, but, you know, because miracles are meant to happen. Oh, I said the back didn't have a window. It does. There you go. Uh, but it, it's obviously much smaller than the other room, but I brought, the second time I came here, I brought a measuring tape, and that is 13 foot. It's like exactly 13 foot, so it's gonna be tight. And as I mentioned in the old house, it does have these corners, so a notch is gonna have to be cut, and one nine foot board and one four foot board to it to sit flush. But then I can easily put, I guess I'll put the four foot one there against the window. Because, you know, it just goes out to the outside kitchen. In Thailand, it's very popular to have two kitchens, a Western one and a, and a uh, Thai one. So the outside Thai kitchen's out there with a hood and all that. Um, but, yeah, it makes more sense to put the, uh, if it will fit, put the nine fitter against this wall here. And then I'll put my table and chair and uh, uh, shelves over here. So much, much smaller room, but it fits. <laughs> It definitely fits. I can fit four tables in here. Uh, oh, for some reason, I thought that was a blank wall, not a window, but doesn't matter. Uh, and the most important thing, it's uh, aircon. So I can keep the track uh, dehumidified and cool. So I'll take another uh, quick video when the tables get put in place. Although right now they won't be back against the wall because the notches haven't been cut in them yet. All right, real quick, back at the old house. They managed to get all the tables out, which is a, a miracle in of itself. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> goodbye to the former site of Hang Dung Raceway. <laughs> well, apparently I suck at measuring, because <laughs> when they actually brought the two big uh, tables into the room, through the window, which is kind of cool, um, there was no room for the little table over here um, you know, because of the width, the four foot width of the next big table. So um, this would not have fit in there. So they came up with the L shape for the nine footers and the two four footers do fit over there on the other side. Uh, once this is unpacked, 
um, I'll be able to put my little work bench over here. So I'm very, very happy. I got my four tables. At, the, at first, I thought I was going to have to sacrifice one of the four foot tables. That would have been okay. Still a nice size layout. Um, but yeah, I got I got all four tables in, and um, yeah, the the shelves might be an issue. Um, I don't know what to do with the shelves because the table's going to go there, the workbench. Um, but hey, I got <laughs> I got four tables in. I'll make it work.